I have class in like 40 minutes, but I'm gonna make this quick because why not? I just wanted to share with you what I did between last week and this week. I used SketchUp for the first time and it was so fun. It was so easy, it's so simple. And now I know why architects like it because you have an idea, maybe you have a sketch and you can literally import a photo, mock it up, extrude it, and you're done. I wanted to show you what I designed last week for one of my main assignments. In the last video, I kind of touched on what I was working on in my studio class. So essentially we have to create an accessible house for an older lady who is in her 80s and she's in a wheelchair, she can't walk. So uh, we need to take those accommodations and make sure that those are implemented in the floor plans and the actual model. So the model that I made, but I kind of revamped it a little bit. I took some 3D printed materials. So I put it on the roof as like roof panels just because the white was kind of like boring in a sense. I have my little balcony that I printed as well as a actual ramp for her wheelchair. So she'll be able to go up the ramp and then um, be able to get into the house due to the elevation. And you can see that I, <laughs> I bought some moss and some gravel. It was actually super cheap. I got it from the dollar store. It's, it's like a big pack of moss and there's different colors and whatnot. It's supposedly long lasting and it has a nice finish, which it definitely does. It was about a dollar, but it really made a difference because it it's just like a pop of color and you can see it gives it that like realistic vibe. This is just a rough model. I'm going to have to create my finalized model, which is going to look pretty much like this i'm not making too much changes however i'm gonna have like a cleaner overall look i'm probably going to print it out completely and just have the moss and gravel and maybe some resin printed items so it's more realistic i just printed this little sheet of black pla as like a border and a place to put my ramp and whatnot but um, I might use another material because this took like three hours to print due to the surface area and it did warp on the sides. But anyways, that's besides the point. Back to SketchUp. I got the pro version. There is an online version that is free, but I know I'm going to be using this quite a bit for other projects and whatnot. So I thought that I would just invest in the full version, which for a student account, I think it's $70 for the year. But a cool part is that it also comes with a iPad version. So I thought that was worth it because I do have my iPad and I do have it with me a lot. But here, I don't know if you can see this, but here is my little house that I made. I am using a render engine called Enscape, which was recommended by a few people. And you could also use V-Ray with SketchUp. I haven't used that yet, but you really see the difference with a render engine versus a non, just SketchUp's um, rendering because I find that the render engine provides you with a lot more props. Like I, I incorporated a lady in her wheelchair, which was part of the assignment. So I'll show you the house here. Um, this is one of the renders. And again, this is not the best. This is uh, my first one ever. Uh, so it is kind of rough. And I just love the colors and the overall vibe and how I started from a floor plan to a rough model to a finalized model and then now i have a render so it's nice to have like a full range of information and i took this from ground zero with the information that i was given so yeah it feels good um i can't wait to do more and get better at this like i don't think it's too complicated but i mean there's still a lot to learn so yeah it's quite exciting 